Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 79th episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. To start off, today is Friday, March 16th, and if you haven't been living under a rock the past couple of weeks, chances are good that you know the third generation iPad was actually released today. And this is actually the first iPad that Apple has accepted pre-orders for, and they actually received so many pre-orders that they sold out. And if you go on their website right now and you try and purchase an iPad, it'll say that it ships in roughly two to three weeks. And again, that is because they are out of iPads. And if you didn't get the chance to pre-order one, you haven't picked one up yet, chances are good that you still can. Because not only did Apple start selling the new iPad today, so did Best by Radio Shack, Target, Walmart, Sam's Club, Verizon, and AT&T. And I actually picked mine up at Verizon and I went into an Apple store just to kind of get a feel for it. There are absolutely no lines in Verizon and I went into Apple and they still had about 300 iPads left over. However, that might not be the case for you, but it's at least worth trying. And benchmark tests reveal that the new iPad has the same exact processor speed as the iPad 2. So it's basically a one gigahertz dual core processor that's clocked from 800 megahertz to one gigahertz and the test also revealed that the RAM in the new iPad is upgraded from the iPad 2. So instead of having 512 megabytes of RAM, this one actually has one gigabyte of RAM. So as I mentioned before, that increase in RAM will definitely make processes run more smoothly on the new iPad. And you will also be able to run more intense applications at the same time. Also, the third generation Apple TV was released today and the majority of people who actually pre-ordered the new Apple TV received it yesterday on the 15th. And I actually did an unboxing for it. And if you guys want to see that, I'll have that down below in the more info as well as my unboxing video for the new iPad. Now kind of shifting gears a little bit, I wanted to talk about the iOS 5.1 untethered jailbreak and the jailbreak situation for the new iPad. So as far as the iOS 5.1 general untethered jailbreak goes, Pod2G, who is actually instrumental in the development of Absinthe, which is the untethered iOS 5.0.1 jailbreak utility, actually asked people to send him crash reports via email to help him discover exploits. Now after he sent out that initial tweet asking for crash reports. He was constantly tweeting and updating what he was looking for and kind of narrowing it down. However, eventually he just decided to stop accepting crash reports altogether. So hopefully he has what he needs as far as crash reports go. And those are helpful because the vulnerabilities can possibly lead to exploits, which then can lead to a jailbreak. So hopefully with all of the crash reports that Pod2G received, he at least has some that are useful. Now, as for the new iPad jailbreak or the third generation iPad jailbreak, Muscle Nerd actually tweeted out pictures of his new jailbroken iPad. And while he said there isn't an ETA right now, he did say that they're working on it. So at least that's some hope and we know what's coming in the future, an untethered iOS 5.1 jailbreak, which hopefully will include the new iPad. Also in jailbreak news, Geohot, an extremely popular and legendary iOS and PlayStation 3 hacker, was actually arrested on his way to a presentation. And if you guys want full details on that, I'll have a link to the article down below. Also Tether, a company that specializes in non-conventional forms of tethering for mobile devices, actually released an iOS service that allows iPhone users to tether their data connection to their computer over an ad hoc network using an HTML5 exploit in mobile Safari. And a lot of people were actually confused when I released that video and they didn't know why I actually did it. Well, that's because personal hotspot actually does not work if you're inside of the United States and you don't pay for it. So this is a way to basically go around that. And if you're stuck on iOS 5.1 on an iPhone 4S and you can't jailbreak, then this is basically your only solution if you need to tether. And building on that, the new AT&T 4G LTE iPad doesn't actually Actually have the option to use the personal hotspot feature as of now and this is actually a way to get around that and to tether with your computer so again if you guys want to check out that video I'll have a link to it down below in the more info as well as everything else I talked about in today's episode don't forget if you like this video just rate it up leave any comments down below in the comment section and be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release a new video and also don't forget that you can like me on Facebook follow me on Twitter and add me to one of your circles inside of Google Plus to be updated more often and until next time this is ICU signing out.